Hello and welcome to another special video review and today no we're not taking a look at the Legacy Scourge but instead we'll be taking a look at not one but two upgrade kit for Legacy Scourge. <laughs> so the first up here is the DNA kit uh, DK37B for laser optimus upgrade well it, it says laser optimus and it's just a sticker right here but it's the same box for a laser optimus and scourge except this one has a sticker of a B on it so yeah this is an upgrade for scourge which adds sort of a transform the tanker into a uh, weapon armored vehicle thingy really awesome but the thing is I've been playing with this and uh, I am so disappointed by it. It's just really bad. Not not a very good kit. So uh, I, I waited a little bit because I ordered another kit right here, which adds... Uh, well, you see, it changes the back of the truck. And it really helps a lot with this one. So, yeah. But first, we'll be taking a look at the DK37B. So for the DNA kit, first we open up the box, see what's inside. There you go, not much else, put it on the side. Yep. So we have all the accessories right here, and we have the instructions. Now instructions are like a big poster, which is interesting. So this is the, I think this is the second part. <laughs> the first part shows all the details and items in it, how to replace the hands, how to utilize the trailer, how to incorporate all the missiles and everything it's interesting and on the other side it, it talks of how to use the trailer and prepare and do the stuff and whatnot and use the part forming because that's the real big bummer about this set is that it transformed this trailer into a heavy part forming vehicle and i really hate it so <laughs> let's open this up let's see what's inside Oop. So, uh, first up, we have these tiny missiles, if I can open them up. These missiles are actually pretty damn interesting, I like it. So, hard to pull out of the frickin' plastic, but there we go. So yeah, these missiles are actually pretty damn interesting, I like them. Nice paint, they, are, uh, they just peg in like this. So, yeah, you take the trailer and you can plug them in here in the back. And this looks pretty damn cool, but we have missile in the back, which is kind of odd, but eh, okay. <laughs> Next up, uh, we have cannons, and these cannons are pretty decent. Now, in vehicle mode, they tell you to plug them in like this, aiming at the back, which eh, is kind of odd, but okay. But uh, yeah, in robot mode, of course, you can hold the weapons. So. Let's uh, take the sword out and axe, and you can give him the weapons. There you go, hold them very securely. Where's the other one? Oh, this one. There you go. So, yeah, has the weapon a little bit heavy because, as you can see, you can't hold it. <laughs> that's, that's a real bummer. So, yeah, can't even hold his own weapon now. They're not that heavy though, but they are heavier than the sword and axe, so yeah. They are nice though, they're really, really decent. So yeah, let's remove them. And next up we have new hands. So we have new fists, and the difference between them is that now they have articulated fingers. So yeah, okay. So we have articulated fingers, which is interesting. So, pretty cool. And of course, to replace them, you just bring the like this, and you have the ball joint. Remove one, and oops, plug it back, get a new one. There you go. So, we have now the open, the hand that opens. You can hold again the gun, but of course, it's the arm the problem, so not the hand. <laughs> Alright, uh, next up, what do we have? We have fillers for the thighs well the back of the legs and more right here so yeah these are just fillers for the back of the legs 
I'm not too sure why it's painted gray while Optimus is painted black. I mean, this one has black legs, so it's kind of odd, but uh, okay. And oh, how to plug them, you have to take this here, for example, and you have like a peg here, which will peg into this hole right here. Plug it in like this, goes in perfectly. And then you have like this, that goes like this, plug it in. So there you go, we have that. Now why is it like, uh, leave some, uh, some stuff open? It's because of the sword. The sword can still store in vehicle mode and we'll plug in in like this. So, plug in the leg. So, yeah, there you go. So now you have like a nice um, filler here that blocks and everything and then mimic the sword. So, that's pretty cool. So, we can open it. I'm gonna leave it like that for now just to show the difference. And next up is pretty much for the trailer. So, we have a couple of handles. This is for uh, when it's in weaponized mode. So they are articulated like this, articulated like this. So pretty decent. Then we have these new bars, which I really hate. And uh, these plugs, these you need to uh, completely uh, de assemble the trailer. So just to put those in. And we have the missiles missile blocks so these are pretty cool but they're not like greatly articulated uh, greatly executed so yeah basically these are like uh well let's check it out when you want to close the trailer they are sort of like this and you just plug them in like this so that's cool they are uh stored so you can still close it and it doesn't take any space that's perfect but when you want to open them you need to Open this up like this, open this up like this, flip this in here, and tap it in, and there you go, you have your missile launcher. The problem is, they do not, like, they, they, you have like this gap right here so you can move the missile like this. It's not cool, not great, I hate it. And this doesn't peg in too perfectly, so it's really bad, so that's a really poorly executed piece. Still works. We do have some nice metallic paint of the missiles, so that's cool. But again, we have some part forming where we have to disassemble this, take this part right here, and reattach it in here. So this you have to do that every time you want to transform. So yeah, very disappointed. And uh, yeah, uh, what you want to do now is just disassemble the rest. You want to peg this out, peg this out, plug this back in here, take the other missile battery thingy here, plug it back in, we have that, lift this up, close this in, so you have this sort of uh, missile thingy here. Alright, next up, uh, this needs to flip this down like this. And this, you can flip it out, rotate this, and close it back in. That's what I like to do with this. This goes in the back. So you come this here, and you have like this hole. So you plug this in here, bring this down. So you have a cannon overhead. Let's remove this cannon right here. And uh, now comes the freaking weird part. So you have these panels. Now you rotate this so that the wheels becomes up. And this you rotate down. And you need to, let's bring it here, this round thing here goes into the chimney and this uh, big peg here goes into that peg hole right here. So you peg this in here, bring this in here, let's do it like that. So plug this in here, plug this in here, peg, and there you go. That's how it holds. And where's the handles? You have the handles right here, so you need to plug this uh, somewhere in here uh, like this and you have a handle for Optimus to hold on to and this just pegged off of course and just unpeg that's you know a really bad kit to me 
to like. I really want to like it when I first saw it, like, wow, it's amazing, I gotta have it. And now that I have it, it's such junk. So, yeah, now this holes. Now you bring this back in. This, you plug it in here. There you go. And the chimney thing here. There you go. So, yeah, you have that. And, of course, you have this piece, which you no longer need, so it's a part forming. Just throw it on the side. You have a bunch of cannons. These cannons can peg on the side of the uh, gun here, but it it doesn't hold. The seat, it, it doesn't want to hold. It's super loose, so that's useless. It's very bad. So, yeah, this, th those mechanic, it's like, what the hell were they, what the hell was DNA team thinking about when they plug in this? It's such garbage. So I am really, really pissed about this. I paid full price. It's garbage. You have part forming. It's just worse. The, 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 the tie fillers, great. The hands, great. And that's about it. <laughs> These are looks great, but they are badly ex executed. So yeah, the missiles are great. You don't use them, useless. So what's the deal with this kit? I don't know. It's just so bad, so so bad. But that's where the other kit comes in. And yeah, we'll talk about this. Let me clean up the, for the table first. And enters the new kit. Now this one doesn't have any name. I haven't found it uh, with a brand name or anything. It's just some guy, I guess, printed it on a 3D printer and sell it like this. And it's actually really incredibly good quality. Like it's super thick, super like resistant. It's very heavy. It's nice. There's no metal except for the the bolts and the the. the yeah, the screws, <laughs> but yeah, uh, also metals for the pins right here, but it's very solid, it's very heavy-ish, but uh, it's great, 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 great quality. So yeah, what does this do? So we got the trailer right here, I kept the part that I, that you know, was interested to me, so I kept the guns, I kept the missiles, I kept the, these missiles and the handles. So that's pretty much on the end, the hands and the fillers. So that's pretty much it. So you open up the trailer. First you want to dismantle it again. So this will be the last time you dismantle it. Like this. And you keep this. Now this part is uh, pretty much trash now. So, yeah. Oh, you can remove also this. Can we? Yeah, there you go. So you can remove this. So you get rid of this and you keep the missiles. So this is the part that you want to throw away. So we don't need that. What you want to do now is uh, open these up like this and like this. Now before uh, playing with this, you have like the panel right here that you need to uh, install like this. So this used to be like that, like that. And you have like the pin right here, which comes in a bag right here. So open this up. If I can my big fingers. There you go. So the bag comes with a couple of handles, and these are mostly just for uh, holding the weapons, which I'm not a big fan of. They are very porous. Looks really bad quality compared to this. So yeah, you have different type of handles. So yeah. These are actually like a handles that replaces this, but I prefer those one because they're longer and articulated, so these won't be much of use. And this goes for the backpack if you want to hold, for example, the sword or the axe at an angle or something. So there you go. But what we want is this pin right here. So the pin whoops, will go in here like this. Uh, am I going the right or the wrong way? Oh, there's no wrong or right. So. There you go, you just insert the pin, like this in here, and then you need uh, some, you know, some tool to push the pin. There you go, in, there you go, and then on the other side, make sure it goes all the way. There you go. So you have that, and now you have the uh, sort of a plate here. So that's cool. 
Next up, what you want to do now is take a screwdriver and unscrew this screw right here and this screw on the top right here. What we'll do is that it will free up this block. Uh, wait, need to pull it. Oh, it's because of the screw is in it. So let's push the screw because there's no bolt anymore. Oh, it's just really in there. So I previously on a unscrewed it, but you need to really remove it. There you go. Now that this is gone, you can separate this and you have this part right here. So this goes like this, so this goes in here. So you need to plug this in here, like this, and screw it back in. So it was uh, like this, plug it in, plug it in. So now you have a tiny screw in here. So you screw it back in. There you go, and you screw the other one in here. Oops. So this needs to be pressed on. You screw it back in. And as you do this, you have a bolt that comes with it. Mine fell off, but there you go. Place it in. There you go. It fits perfectly in. So you just hold it in and continue to screw. So there you go, we have that. And this, which, what will it do is that it gives so much articulation now to the trailer. And it keeps the trailer in one part so you can close it in like this. And there you go. Why didn't DNA Kit think of something like that instead? Jeez, that would have saved so much. But uh, yeah, it's really good to have like that. And now that it's like this, like that, you can take one of the uh, these pegs in here, you plug this in here, like this, and now this will plug onto the back, you bring this down, you plug this in here, there you go, and now you can, well, adjust the handle so that it's better placed, and you can make him hold onto it. And there you go. It's so much better now. <laughs> so bring this out, bring this down, bring this down. So there you go. And yeah, it looks so much better now. Like, why didn't it make it like this, DNA kit? Why? Seriously. You suck. <laughs> and of course, you can take this again. But now this time you fold it like this. And using this peg, you plug it in the back right here. There you go. So now we have that. And that's pretty damn cool. So, yeah. Why didn't DNA Kit think of anything close like this? Uh, I'm going to assemble the other one and come back. And here we have the whole set completely assembled. And he looks really damn good. So, yeah. This is actually the, the better the better of the upgrade kit. The back unnamed upgrade kit is actually awesome. I'm trying to use all the other parts from the DNA kit. Because, you know, I still paid for it and I still like it. So, I've put the missiles on the shoulder because I didn't have any other space to plug them. I've plugged the guns on the side right here. It's basically the same spot as in vehicle mode that I uh, shown earlier. Except flipped around. Uh, these missile pods kind of suck, but... <laughs> I'm still using them because I don't have anything else so they still look good and uh, yeah you have the back how it looks like this now I'm not too fan of the uh, uh, connector of the uh, that comes with the back plate uh, the connector into the back is sort of loose so it doesn't peg in too securely so it holds but yeah very fragile but there you go and it looks so awesome this is what I wanted not a part forming which leaves this part all uh, you know out for no reason it sucked but this with in connection with this very awesome now there is a whole bunch of set for this sort of a say, sort of upgrades on uh, laser and uh, scourge optimus prime laser optimus prime and scourge 
Now uh, the back plate is a high recommend for me. This is awesome, very awesome. But the DNA kit, not very recommended. Really, it is just for the guns. Eh, not, not really fan of it. These missile pods suck. Uh, the tiny missiles are cool, but I, I don't have any places to put plug them, so I plug them there. It's cool. Uh, the, the, the handles are great, okay, but every other kit comes with handles, I guess. But yeah, there is a whole bunch, of, I've seen like two or three different kits that adds the missiles, the handles, and you just, you, you can use this backpack with the other kits, and it would give you the very same thing as this. Except maybe better missiles. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. It, it. it is pretty awesome. The back plate is, wow, that, that, that kit is just amazing. But the DNA kit... No, if you have the DNA kit alone, I do not recommend picking it up. If you want to pick up the DNA kit with me, like I said, with this, sure, okay. But you're still gonna hate everything else. Now, one comparison I want to make is with the Maketoys Optimus Prime, the Battle Tanker they made us several years ago, and that's the reason why I wanted to have like this configuration, sort of. So we have huge missiles, tank mode thing, it's just Wow. <laughs> I'm going to transform real quick into uh, vehicle mode to show off how everything is stored. Uh, not this one, I just want to show off in robot mode. And uh, I'll come back. And there we go, we have Scourge in truck mode and everything is installed uh, that I could. Uh, nothing left. Uh, uh, the uh, Let's move the trailer. The wrist still uh, fits in the... Uh, the new fist uh, fits into the uh, cab, uh, the, the arm mode. So that's not a problem. Uh, the missiles, I didn't know where to put them. So I put them there. Uh, I'm not sure where I could put them. Uh, maybe here would be nice too. Oops. Uh -huh. I haven't tried this place, but on the trailer it sort of hinders a little bit the uh, rotation of the truck. I like this, looks cool. But yeah, if you try to put this in here, you can see it blocks a little bit, it fits, it looks good, but it, you know, it blocks a little bit. Oh, unless maybe you could put it really deeper, but I, I won't. Yeah, it still turns, but not a lot, so it hinders the movement. As for the trailer, because uh, you can see I put the cannon right here, the new flap is here. You open this up, Oop, I lost the arm. <laughs> How did this peg itself? There you go, plug it back in. If you open this up, uh, the axe is loose inside now, so I've put it in here because there is no more space. The handles, I've placed them like this. These missiles fit like that. The connector, I've put it in here. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's not the better, the, the, the a good connection. It's kind of loose, but it works. And this plugs in here, and you can see the new thing here. Now, if you want to do a battle battle station, it still works, I guess. So, you can just bring this down. You have this block now. But, uh, yeah, you can still extend those if you want. And make, like, sort of ramps. So, yeah, like this. Bring this down I guess and you have to get a new cannon and this is the arm for fixing stuff and uh, yeah you have the missiles right here you can place them however you like I'm not gonna play with those the cannons can be paid on here or on the tower but they don't hold too much so there you go so yeah you're, you still have the same choice and everything uh, just the, 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 the axe doesn't plug into well, it's, it does plug, but it won't close in because of these struts now, so that's the only thing. The axe doesn't go anywhere any, anymore, really, so it's just loose inside the truck. But I, I'm not a real big fan of the axe anyway. The sword is also, oops, I forgot the sword underneath here, so the sword, no problem, it pegs in underneath, so there you go. <laughs> so yeah, the unnamed kit right here. Very high recommend. It's an amazing quality is insane. The price is only $20. It adds a lot. It actually does something good. DNA kit, nope. It's a really big disappointment. The missiles are loose. They, they don't even box in together correctly. Uh, you have part forming, parts that won't be in use in uh, uh, other modes. It sucks really bad. The cannons are okay. Uh, the hands are great. The tiny missiles are great. The leg fillers are great. But all the execution of the DNA kit just suck.
But uh, yeah, otherwise, the assembly of the DNA kit and this is actually pretty damn good. But the DNA kit is like 50 bucks US. Uh, this uh, part right here was about twenty dollars on uh, eBay. Uh, like I said, it's unnamed. It's hard to find, but on eBay you just type in the Legacy Scourge Upgrade Kit. There is like five different uh, the upgrade kit. The DNA kit, uh, Superman Studio Kit has one. Uh, the other one uh, I don't remember the group, and there's this one. So you just have to search for it. But this one's just amazing. But yeah, just adding. This to the whole set is pretty damn cool, but otherwise, eh, the uh, DNA kit is very, very disappointing. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the Upgrade Kit DNA Kit, a DK37B, and the Unnamed Kit for Legacy Scourge, which adds the new backpack, uh, the back of the trailer, um, struts and handles and articulation. And uh, yeah, that's a really big recommend for this. So that's pretty much it for me. You know the song, like, subscribe, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. All right, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.